Well, uh, you know, I don't want to comment sa Senate kasi they're a separate uh, chamber. No? I already told you last week yung stand ko na malinaw na malinaw na malinaw sa Constitution shall exclusively originate from the House. But in the meantime, there's several clarification. Sabi ni Senator Soto, hindi naman yung yung uh, franchise mismo. So kung hindi yung franchise mismo, ano yung tinatake up? So, you know, I would rather that both houses focus on very urgent legislation. The ABS-CBN has 11,000 jobs, but the Citira can produce 1.5 million jobs. Diba? Having said that, mabuti na rin na nag-hearing, mabuti na rin na pinag-uusapan yung mga issues, but I can promise you sa House, mas uh, organized yung hearing, mas malinaw yung issues bago pa mag-start ang hearing, at lahat yung pro and con, management, employees, and viewers will be given an, an opportunity to meet. So, sabi ng DOJ, pwede to, with the concurrence of both houses, pwede ba yung release ng uh, provisional uh, franchise para magpatulog? We, we've said from the start that the reason why we think it's important but not urgent, dahil hindi naman tayo papaya that there'll be a single minute na hindi nag-broadcast ang ABS-CBN. Ang problema, Maraming gustong umepal, maraming gustong uh, uh, maging part ng solution, maraming nagpropropose, panay what if, what if, what if may nag-question, what if hindi pa yagan ang what, what if. Eh what if magunaw ang mundo tomorrow, na hindi na natin kailangan ng franchise ng ABS-CBN, di ba? So hindi kami nagsasalita dito sa kongreso na hindi namin alam ang sinasabi namin. Ano sabi ng NTC? There have been several pre presidents. Ano sabi ng NTC? Kahit na may provisional authority, never nila spin up. Diba? So, if someone files to stop, it doesn't end there naman yan. NTC pa rin yan. That's why from the start, sabi namin, we'll be coordinating with NTC at DOJ at kung ano man ang kailangan nila. Pero sa aming pananaw, a notice from our, our committee that we are starting the proceedings and they should be allowed to broadcast while we are hearing it is more than sufficient. I mean, let's be straight with our tao. Eh. Parang nag-attendance niya yung lahat ng gustong sumipsip sa ABS-CBN. Eh. Diba? The reality is, kung gustong isara, hindi isang hearing din ay sarado yan. O wag i-hear at sabihin sa NPC sarado, why, why will we talk to you with fourth time? Na anong, what we have to gain to lie to you. So, nung sinabi namin hindi magsasaray, yan ang paninindigan namin. Kung kailangan physically ako mag-on ng transmitter o pumunta doon, gagawin ko yan. Gagawin ni Chairman Chico yun. So, there's no question yung iba nang mamala sa akin. Love. There's no question there are solid supporters of ABS. But yung iba, ano eh, okay na eh. Diba? Parang doomsday na ang ginagawa para lang makapagsipsip eh. Eh, hindi yun ang proseso. We want ABS to get or not get their franchise based on the merits. And we can only go to the merits if we have a sober um, uh, discussion through a committee hearing. Uh, at this point, let me just also um, express sentiment ng maraming kongresista. We would like to thank ABS-CBN, especially the CEO, Carlo Tecbac, sa kanyang statement. Uh, it is obvious to us, and we expect that na nasasabihin niya na ipaglalaban niya yung ABS, and that ABS is about service. So that's well taken. But also, it is well taken, sinabi niya, we're not perfect, and that um, they're willing to correct mistakes or listen if there are mistakes. That's the kind of discussion we need. On trial here is not only ABS. Yes, the politicians vis-a-vis -vis press freedom, but also the journalists vis-a-vis uh, -vis press freedom. We all know that there are abuses on the politician side, but there are also abuses on the media side. So when can we talk about that soberly? When can we discuss kailan mali? nagamitin mo ang 
media for a specific business interest or for a specific political interest. When is it fake news? When is it opinion? You know, there's so much to discuss. So I'm hoping when we come back in May, malamig na ang ulo ng lahat, I advise all of us to take the mindset of uh, President uh, Carlo Catikba, President ng ABS-CBN, na ipaglalaban niya ang values ng kanyang organization, ang mga nagsasama ng organization, but yung openness to hear where where they can be better. No? At ganun din sa amin sa Kongreso. So I'm confident, pag nakita nyo na yung takbo ng hearing dito sa house, you will say, this is the way to do it. So,